We're going to show you everything you need to know about Fibonacci trading fast. Please hit the like button, but more importantly, hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. This is what the Fibonacci tool looks like with the default settings. And this is how the Fibonacci tool should look like after you change the settings and make it actually usable and highly effective. Let's first cover how to set up the Fibonacci tool correctly. So to access the Fibonacci tool, on the left here, click the arrow beside GAN and Fibonacci tools and select Fib Retracement. Then on your chart, click once and drag your mouse upwards and to the right and click again to lock it in. Let's now change the look of the Fibonacci tool to make it more effective to use. Click on the Fibonacci area and your menu bar will show up. Then click this icon here, which is your settings, and then it will show up on screen. Let's first remove these numbers here that go past one. Unselect them here and you'll see it disappear. Next, let's remove the background color. Unselect it here. Next, remove the prices to reduce clutter. Unselect it here. Next, we want to change these to percentages. Click the drop down menu here and click percents, and you'll see that your Fibonacci levels are now shown as percentages. Next, we want to move these percentages to the right side of the tool. Where it says labels, click the drop down menu here and click right, and you'll see the Fibonacci levels on the right side of the tool now. Next, we want the Fib percentages to be right beside each Fib line, because right now they are slightly above each Fib line. Again, where it says labels, click the drop down menu here and click middle. And you'll see the Fib percentages now right beside each Fib line. Next, we want these Fib percentages to be larger and more visible. So where it says font size, click the drop down menu here and click 20. Notice how the numbers are larger and more legible now. Next, we want these lines to be thicker and more visible. So where it says levels line, click here and go down to the thickest line and select it. Notice how the lines are now thicker and more visible. Next, we want to change the color of your Fibonacci lines to reflect their level of importance. Change 0%, 23.6%, 78.6%, and 100% all to black. Leave 38.2% as orange, as it is a good Fib level and represents a shallow pullback. Then you should change the 50% and 61.8% to red, because both these levels and the zone in between the levels are the highest quality Fib levels. Using red acts as a reminder to yourself of the importance of these levels once price pulls back to these levels and zone. Now, for us, we remove the 23.6% and 78.6 percentage levels since we don't use them. But if you use them as part of your overall strategy, leave them in. And that's it. This is now the ideal settings for your Fibonacci tool. So if you want access to the exact charting platform we are using, go to the link in the description below. Let's now quickly show how to apply the Fibonacci tool to your charts. So in an uptrend, these are the Fibonacci levels we look for. First, the 50% Fibonacci level, which is what we call good because it represents a deep pullback within a moving trend. Next is the zone and area between 50% Fib and 61.8% Fib, which is what we call great because it represents a deep pullback within a moving trend. Then we have the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which is what we call best because it represents a very deep pullback within a moving trend. In the opposite direction, in a downtrend, 50% Fibonacci is good. The zone and area between 50% Fib and 61.8% Fib is great. And 61.8% Fibonacci is best. Fibonacci retracement levels act as a form of support and resistance as they represent areas of value within a moving trend. This means trade opportunities present themselves at these Fibonacci levels because the big boys look to add to their winning positions at these areas of value, which creates momentum for your trade. Let's now show this right on the charts. You have your moving uptrend through the higher highs and higher lows. These runs are known as your impulse moves. These pullbacks are known as your corrective moves. 
price starts pulling back right here and you decide you want to look for a possible pullback long entry to trade with the uptrend. But you're not just going to jump in blindly at any random spot. You want to enter a trade setup at an area of value within the moving uptrend. So you take your Fibonacci tool, click at the recent swing low here, drag it up to the recent swing high, and then move it a bit to the right so that it stretches out. And then click again to lock it in. Your Fibonacci levels are here to the right. So once price reaches any of these Fibonacci levels, you would look for candlestick price action followed by a trend change confirmation before taking a long entry. Now going in the opposite direction in a downtrend, you have lower highs and lower lows. These runs are known as your impulse moves. These pullbacks are known as your corrective moves. Price starts pulling back right here and you decide you want to look for a possible pullback short entry to trade with the downtrend. But you're not just going to jump in blindly at any random spot. You want to enter a trade setup at an area of value within the moving downtrend. So you take your Fibonacci tool, click at the recent swing high here, drag it down to the recent swing low, and then move it a bit to the right so that it stretches out and then click again to lock it in. Your Fibonacci levels are here to the right. So once price reaches any of these Fibonacci levels, you would look for candlestick price action followed by a trend change confirmation before taking a short entry. Let's now show this combined with price action. You have your uptrend through the higher highs and higher lows. Price pulls back to the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which represents a very deep pullback in an area of value within a moving uptrend. You had long wick candles form right at the Fib level, showing that price is indeed reacting to the Fib level. You then wait for a trend change confirmation before taking long trades, which you had through the bullish momentum candle that is also a candle color change. Now in the opposite direction. You have a downtrend through the lower highs and lower lows. Price pulls back to the 50% Fibonacci area, which represents a deep pullback and an area of value within a moving downtrend. You had multiple candles with the wicks sticking out that formed right at the Fib level, showing that price is indeed reacting to the Fib level. You then wait for a trend change confirmation before taking short trades, which you had through either the bearish momentum candle or after the double top pattern formed. Let's now take it up a notch and combine Fibonacci levels with support and resistance. Combining Fib levels with support and resistance gives you higher quality trade setups, meaning a higher percentage chance of success and of the trade going a greater distance for higher profits. These two reversal points here give you your key level. This here is where the support level and 50% Fib level both lined up. Once price pulled back to the area, you had multiple candles with the wicks sticking out, showing a reaction to the area. Once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would look for long entry points in the opposite direction in a downtrend. You had a short trade setup here where the moving average and key level both crossed. This is also where the 50% Fib level lined up. You had a candle color change and wick sticking out and created a successful short trade. Another short trade setup here where the moving average and key level both crossed. This is also where the 50% to 61.8% Fib zone lined up. You had multiple long wick candles form, showing a reaction and another successful short trade. Another short trade setup here. This is also where the 50% Fib level lined up. You had multiple candles with the wicks sticking out and a double top pattern, all which shows a reaction and created another successful short trade. There is a series of premium trading guides that work in combination with this video and are required to have to fully grasp these concepts. They are available on our site at wisetrade.com. The specific link is in the description below. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what topics you want us to cover next. Make sure to hit the like button on this video as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. Also go follow us on our Instagram account at Wystream to stay notified about a lot of big projects we have dropping soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.